integrate 5x times the cosine of x squared solution. So in this case, it's pretty clear that if we let u be x squared, then du will be 2x dx. Now, we don't have a 2 here, but uh, we can fix that. So let's take that approach. So we'll set u equal to x squared. Then du is 2x dx. And now we have to deal with the, with the issue of the 5. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. I personally think the most elegant way is as follows. We want to get rid of the 2, so we'll divide by 2. You can actually do this in one step. We'll do it in 2. So you have du over 2 equals x dx. Now, we almost have what we want. We have x. We have dx. We're missing the 5. So what we'll do is we'll multiply both sides by 5. And now everything matches. We can make the substitution all at once. We have 5x dx. That's going to be this. And we have u right here. So let's do it. So I'll call it i so I don't have to write it again. So i is equal to, well, 5x dx is 5 du over 2. So I'll pull the 5 halves out, 5 halves. Then we just end up with cosine u du. When you integrate cosine, you just get sine. So you get 5 halves sine u plus a constant. And that does check, right? The derivative of sine is cosine. And so here you get 5 halves sine. And then what was u? u was x squared. So you just plug it back in, x squared plus a constant. Pretty easy problem. Uh, I hope this helps.